Microsoft SharePoint 2010, Creating a Custom List. If the lists provided by SharePoint are not what you need, you can create your own custom lists. Before you create a custom list, it is important to plan what columns you will need in your list. These columns describe the data you wish to enter in the list. You give the columns specific names and determine what type of data the column will hold. In this video, we will create a custom list within our main SharePoint team site, and we will add and edit columns we wish to use, and then we'll add some records to our list. So let's get started. We're going to create a custom list to keep track of the coffees we offer at our Espresso Yourself Coffee Cafes. We need to know the coffee name, the category, whether decaf is available, and also the price. To create the list, you go over and click on Lists in your Quick Launch bar, and click on Create. On the left-hand side, I'm going to filter by list, and I'm going to choose Custom List. I could just give it a name, but let's see what more options has. So not only can I give it a name, but also a description and I can determine whether I want to show my custom list on the quick launch bar. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name and a description. I do want this list to show up on the quick launch bar. So once I'm done, I can click on create. And now over on my quick launch bar, I'll have espresso coffees. Now if you look at the list, which I'm in at this point, the only field that we have available is title. So I want a few more fields and I want title to say coffee name. So up on the list tools, the list tab, over to the right, I'm going to click on list settings from the ribbon. And now I'm in the settings for my espresso coffees. I'm going to scroll down so I can see the columns that are in this list. So first, I want to change the title. The title is a required field as a default. So I'll click on title, and I actually want it to say coffee name. I could give this column a description, and down below, I could determine that I don't want to require this. I can enforce unique values if I wish. I can limit the number of characters. I could even give it a default value but I'm going to just change the name and click on OK. And now if I scroll down, I'll see that title has been changed to coffee name. Now I'm going to go and create a few more columns. I could create columns from existing site columns, so other lists that come with SharePoint, but I'm going to create my own columns. The first column I'm going to create is for category. There are different data types that I can choose from. So maybe I just want to keep it as text. I could do multiple lines of text. I could determine if it's a number, currency, or date. Is it a calculated field or hyperlink? I'm going to make this one a choice. And when I click on choice and scroll down, the settings I have available change according to the data type I choose up at the top. So again, I could give this a description, I could require it, I could enforce unique values, but this is also where I would put my choices. So I'm going to select the defaults and type in my own. You can put as many choices as you like, just putting each one on a separate line. I'm going to keep the default of a drop-down menu. I do not want people to fill in their own choices, I just want them to pick from the list. And when I click down for the default value, it will put the first item that I have in my list. If I don't want a default value, I would just select that and press delete. I am going to add it to my default view and click on OK. And now if I scroll down, I'll see that I've got another column within my list. I'm going to go ahead and create another column. And this column is going to be a yes, no. I want to know if the coffee is offered in decaf. So I'll give the column a name. The type of information is going to be yes or no. 
And when I scroll down, I don't have many settings to choose from, but I could give it a description. I could change the default value. Maybe most of my coffees do not offer decaf, but I'll keep it as yes as the default and add it to the default view and OK. And I'm going to add one more column. And this one is going to be for price. So I'll type the name. I'll make it a currency data type. And when I scroll down, notice that the settings, again, apply to whichever data type I choose. So I could give it a minimum and a maximum value. I'm going to keep all the defaults and click on OK. So that's all I'm going to put in my list for right now. In my breadcrumb trail, I can go ahead and click on Espresso Coffees to get into the list, and I'll see the columns that I've added. So let's add a record. I'm going to click on Add New Item, and it will open up a window that has the fields that I put in. So I'll go ahead and type in my first coffee. I'm going to pick from the categories. It is an espresso coffee. Let's say decaf is not available, so I'll take the check away from that. And I'll also give it a price. Once I'm done, I click on Save. And I've got my first record in the list. And I'll go ahead and just add. So Add New. Next one will be a soy cappuccino. The category is a cappuccino. I'll say decaf is available. And again, I'll give it a price and save. And you would just keep on going and putting in more records into your list. And that's how to create a custom list and add records to that custom list in SharePoint 2010.